Well, you guys, we also spoke to the victim's mom off camera today. She tells me that her son was in the kitchen cutting a slice of cake when he got shot in the head twice. And now officials also say they are going to have a lot of foot patrol in the neighborhood this evening. But neighbors say that that still doesn't make them feel safe. Young man hit, uh, we don't believe was a target. An innocent 26 year old man met with 36 rounds of bullets in the comfort of his home, two bullets hitting him in the head. And it's just really stressful to know, like I live in an area where it's almost inevitable, you know. Officials say the shooting that happened Sunday night on Lodge Street was targeted, but not towards the man who's fighting for his life in the hospital. There are people there at that gathering that are witnesses. We really want people's help to identify uh, uh, who shot this individual. Neighbors like Deja Thorpe says that she hears first responders so frequently that it's like white noise. I don't want to say not often, but I'm used to hearing the fire trucks, the ambulances, anything like that in this area. And this latest shooting emphasizing how unsafe she feels in the place she calls home. It wasn't until I got older that I started feeling like maybe it's not the safest place to live because of the constant shootings. Knowing that it happened so close to me, there's a possibility, I don't know, my house could be next, my family could be next. I don't like thinking about that. And now the chief of police also told me that he and another few officers, they planned on visiting this neighborhood again tonight to knock on specific doors of young men they feel could be in danger of gun violence. Their goal was to give them preventative measures to this gun violence, and they're hoping that this is another way to decrease gun violence here in the city. In New Haven, DeAndrea Turner, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.